to lay out is for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team. And I'll be using the pencil frame cut file. Now this is, um, this would be one of the deep design team's favorite cut files. I think in October about five or six of us have used it in some way in art layouts, but it's just relating to um, back to school, school themed things, but you can also use it to document crafty stuff if you have uh, crafty and artsy stuff. So I love it. I love it. So I'm going to be pairing this cut file with the School Life um, collection by Simple Stories. And my backing is going to be very simple. I'm going to use this sort of like composition notebook pattern in the center. And then the pencils are going to be backed with the yellow paper. I'm going to use some of the 3x4 cards that are a bit, are a bit on the... Um, beigey sort of color to back the wider part of the pencils and just use a one of another three by four card to add the black point but you'll see you'll see what i mean but i chose this um patterned paper this teal patterned paper mainly because it has lots of color in it and not only that, but um, it has these little icons on it that it just reminded me of the cut file. So I was like, okay, that's going to work. And I'm just adding some a bit of mixed media. I'm using blues, teals, and yellows. And basically what I'm doing is splattering, um, spraying the lighter colors in the center and splattering all three colors around the outer edges. Now I stopped the recording, finished packing my cut file, and here it is. I also did a bit of um, snooping, if you will, looking through the collection to see what I could add to it. So I go ahead and um, start cutting up um, some pieces, well not pieces, I actually stick the pictures down, I'm documenting three different sized pictures for this because I wanted to sort of remember our beginnings. Um, if you've seen my other school themed videos, um, you'll know that uh, we are currently homeschooling. So, you know, we're taking it just one day at a time, one year at a time, of course. And on top of that, um, I just wanted to see like how we started out our homeschooling and where I basically stored our our items and um, just just like the overall you know setup of our homeschool and yeah that's why I that's why I knew that the a this collection was perfect for this and b this cut file was even more perfect for this so after I backed my pictures with some white cardstock I'm also going to pop up my craft, my craft foam, <laughs> pop, 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 pop up my um, cut file using craft foam. And then I'm going to also pop up some of the um, pictures. Actually, all of the pictures are going to be popped up on craft foam just for that added dimension. Now, since my cut file has been cut pretty big and um, I think I cut it out at about nine by nine or nine and a half by nine and a half around there um, and since I have mixed media on the background I have um, there's I would say a pretty bold background going on I am because of all those three reasons I am going to be um, I'm not going to add way too much um, in terms of embellishments. I just start tucking them in um, on either side of the file. And yeah, I, that's, that's the, um, it. 
I do use that tag that says shine bright, but I do rearrange it over to the right hand side. And then I begin sticking things down. Um, this layout really came together in about half an hour or less, including the time for, that it took for me to back the cut file. And here I start sifting through um, the embellishments. These embellishments come in a range of stickers, chipboard stickers, um, ephemera pe and ephemera pieces. So yeah, and I'm playing around with their placements. I'm also tucking some of them on top of each other just to create that layered look. I'm placing a couple of stickers right on top of the pictures. And yeah. See what I mean? I'm not like, if, if you've been with me for a while now, you know that I love adding lots of details with embellishments and whatnot, but I kept things a bit simple this time around. Afterwards, to, to tie things up a bit, I splatter a couple, I add a bit of more splatters of mixed media, and yeah, I add my journaling at the bottom, and that's it. I hope 